Uh, well, if we are moving further, then uh, the same day as you come, you choose the surrogate. Before you come, we send your profile with the most basic information about them, with their pictures, with the pictures of their children, information about the husband, everything what you need to know to take a decision that you want to meet this very person. You choose, uh, we offer you three, four candidates, you choose uh, two, maybe three for meeting, and after that, you may do final decision. If you need egg donor, we also provide you with the pictures and information about egg donor before you come to Ukraine, but still you do not meet because donor is anonymous according to our legislation. But you will obtain all the necessary information to take decision that you would like to choose this donor precisely. Uh, medical examination of intended parents. If you come without your prelim preliminary medical test, because sometimes you can undergo the medical treatment in your um, country, in your home country, and send us the results. But if you need some additional tests, so we can provide them for you in two three days, though we can wait for results uh, from three to ten days. It depends on the type of medical examination. Stage 5 conclusion of uh, agreements uh, with the clinic, with the surrogate, presupposing all the conditions about uh, peculiarities of agreement between surrogate and uh, intended parents. Ludmila as a lawyer will tell you a little bit later. Uh, then medical protocol 40-50 days. As Natalia said, the stimulation and synchronization procedure, we call this IVF preparation uh, takes uh, from three to seven weeks in general. Uh, then a successful moment when the pregnancy, when we have pregnancy confirmed and um, then we have nine months of supervision and support of our surrogates being in a constant contact with you. Uh, the next stage is processing of documents for registration of parental rights. During the pregnancy and surrogate and just right after child delivery we process all the necessary documents to register your child at Ukrainian authorities. This would be the first legal stage for us. Uh, the second uh, legal stage would be the validation of the document for your country. In our situation is Sweden. Uh, and uh, as soon as we validate, we go to the embassy and uh, process the necessary documents. Lubila will also tell you about some documents which are needed to, um, to transfer the child to Sweden and to register this child as your own, the territory of Sweden. Uh, and uh, partner support of um, legal procedures in home country of intended parents. We can provide you with the general information uh, with what legal step you, steps you can register your child uh, in um, Sweden. Uh, well, uh, just, before, um, just before we go to questions, I want to, to tell you several words about some declara joint declaration of European Embassy. Not so long ago we had round table with European Embassy and that is because there are different complications uh, uh, when the child, when the infertile couple with the child wants to go back home after child delivery and sometimes embassies of those countries where service is forbidden, they create some complicated legal procedures or they just forbid that transfer because not all legal requirements are Preserved. That's why, as you can see, the joint declaration of European Embassy and Swedish as well was that before you go, you should obtain legal assistance. You should call us and to understand what legal procedure uh, will be expecting for you, what will be legal risk and complications, and before making any arrangements, you should obtain qualified legal advice as here in Ukraine by our lawyers, as in Sweden by a family specialist, family lawyer specialist. Uh, as for family parental right registration for Sweden, in brief, first we have Ukrainian birth certificate with your names, then we, uh, uh, we prove paternity paternity test, which is DNA test. The Swedish Embassy is first of all interested in con genetic connection between father and the child because um, surrogate is considered to be a birth woman according to uh, Swedish legislation, uh, not according to Ukrainian. That's why they consider father to be as the legal father of your child and through the DNA test we check. 
uh, if there is a genetic connection between father and the child. And after that, the Swedish passport and citizenship would be processed. And when the couple comes back home, there will be adoption by Swedish uh, women. And they will have Swedish birth certificate, uh, which given them absolute parental rights to raise their child. Well, of course, this, these are the pictures of our couple which had their baby recently and we want to, uh, to tell you that, of course, that, that is a great honor and pleasure for us to make your family bigger and we would be really, really happy uh, if we could help you in any way. Uh, well, I think that um, I'm done with my presentation right now and I would like to thank you for your attention and we are checking if there are any uh, questions for us on organizational issues. Uh huh, there are now a lot of them. Okay, the first question uh, Any age limits in Ukraine for couples who want to be the parents by means of surrogacy and egg donation? Well, so far there are, no, um, there are no age limits at the moment, but there are some legal projects of law to limit this age till 54 because. Uh, this 54 is the average duration of life in Ukraine plus 18 years. So, I mean, uh, this is just for um, giving a chance uh, for intended parents to raise their children at least until school prom. But so far there are no age restrictions and we even have a Ukrainian birth mother who delivered a child in 66. Uh, okay, and also, do you need to be married to apply uh, to surrogacy to Ukraine? Well, uh, as for Ukrainian legislation, it's very loyal to this. I mean, civil partnership or cohabitation, as we call it, is absolutely possible while you apply to surrogacy or egg in Ukraine, but uh, Swedish embassy highly recommends to have marriage because this will um, uh, this will help you to avoid any complicated legal procedure and will ensure that you will come back home with your child. I was just wondering how Sergei screening goes, any requirements, criteria, etc. Well, that's a very nice question. Um, as I promised um, to highlight this issue, well, uh, first of all, the surrogate uh, applies through our webpage that uh, she fills in certain application. We receive that application by email and we see if there are certain criteria uh, followed. I mean, um, age. Um, general health conditions, um, uh, that she already has at least one child um, delivered successfully. We are not, we're trying not to take women with cesarean section because it's a little bit risky. Uh, and after that we invite, we uh, have first uh, phone uh, conversation explaining this, uh, her in brief all the process. Then she's invited to our office. Uh, we are talking to her for three, four hours, explaining her, showing her all agreements and papers, uh, uh, all the burden of responsibility she will have, her rights, duties, and uh, our work overview. And after that, she is screened um, medically at the clinic. In two weeks, we are waiting for her results. Uh, after she um, undergo under one medical test, she has psychological evaluation, and if our psychologist approves her candidate. Of course, she also have, uh, as I told, certificate for mental special leave that everything is okay with her mental health. And as soon as her medical, if she successfully uh, underwent all those stages in two weeks, um, if she has perfect medical tests, that she will be included into our database. And as soon as we have an infertile couple, which is perfect for her, we offer her candidate to that couple. Uh, I was just wondering, uh -huh, uh, how do I choose an egg donor and how many visits to Ukraine are required for whole surrogacy process? More than two. You choose an egg donor through the picture and general information we send to you. As I already said, you cannot meet. But um, you will for sure meet with the surrogate, get acquainted with her and decide if she suits you. Uh, as for um, surrogacy and egg donation, you will need uh, two visits. The first one for uh, to choose surrogate. Mm. 